गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज मिनरल्स फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस द अर्थ्स एलिमेंटल कंपोजिशन देन वी विल डाइव डीप इन टू द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मिनरल्स वी विल देन एक्सप्लोर द फॉर्मेशन एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मिनरल्स नेक्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस द इंडियाज मिनरल जोन्स वी विल देन मूव ऑन टू एग्जामिन द कैटेगराइजेशन ऑफ मिनरल्स फॉलोइंग दैट वी विल डेल्व इन टू द एनर्जी रिसोर्स डिराइड फ्रॉम मिनरल्स and at last we will discuss the impact and utilization of minerals first let us discuss the earth's elemental composition the earth comprises a diverse range of elements the earth's crust consists of a myriad of elements predominantly eight elements from about 98% of the earth's crust the outer crust predominantly contains oxygen silicon aluminum iron calcium sodium potassium and magnesium remaining components include elements such as titanium hydrogen phosphorus manganese sulfur carbon nickel among others these elements though in lesser quantities play significant roles in various natural and industrial processes now let us discuss the characteristics of minerals first earthen minerals minerals originate from the earth's crust these are substances where elements combine in various ways resulting in thousands of mineral types Interestingly minerals are both organic and inorganic and possess an orderly atomic structure this means that their atoms are arranged in a systematic manner minerals are compounds formed from the combination of earth's elements they exist either organically or inorganically with a distinct atomic structure chemical composition and physical properties originating from the earth's molten magma they crystallize as the magma cools coal petroleum and natural gas though termed minerals have organic origins sometimes mineral consist of just one element examples of these include gold sulfur and graphite however most minerals are formed from a combination of two or more elements second oceanic minerals the indian ocean is a reservoir of polymetallic nodules and polymetallic massive sulfides These deposits contain manganese, copper, iron, zinc, silver, gold, nickel and cobalt. Coastal sediments of the Indian Ocean are rich in titanium, zirconium, tin, zinc and copper with rare earth elements also present though extraction is often not economically viable. Now let us see the formation characteristics of minerals. The fundamental source of all minerals is the hot molten magma found deep within the earth. As this magma cools down, minerals begin to crystallize. Minerals exhibit a range of physical characteristics their external forms such as cubes or hexagonal prism are determined by the internal molecular arrangement each mineral also possesses a unique luster and color although sometimes impurities can alter these characteristics additionally their structure hardness and specific gravity further classify minerals now let us discuss india's mineral zones first north eastern peninsular belt it includes regions like chhota nagpur jharkhand odisha plateau west bengal and parts of chatisgarh major minerals include iron coal manganese bauxite and mica second central belt it spans chatisgarh madhya pradesh telangana andhra pradesh and maharashtra rich in manganese bauxite limestone marble coal gems mica iron ore and graphite third southern belt it consists of the karnataka plateau and tamil nadu upland primarily known for ferrous minerals excluding coal fourth southwestern belt it is covering western karnataka and goa this belt is abundant in iron ore garnet and clay fifth northwestern belt it is found in aravalli rajasthan and gujarat renowned for non ferrous metals uranium mica beryllium and precious stones let us now delve into the categorization of minerals metallic minerals minerals containing metal content examples include iron ore and bauxite the appearance typically has a metallic luster they are further categorized into first ferrous metals these contain iron examples include iron ore manganese and chromites these minerals are the cornerstone of metallurgic industries especially iron steel and alloys india has a substantial reserve and production of these minerals second non ferrous metals important metals excluding iron such as copper bauxite lead and zinc non metallic minerals these don't contain metals and are utilized in diverse sectors examples include mica sulfur phosphates and nitrates they can be organic or inorganic first mineral fuels 
organic in origin these derive from buried animals and plant life example coal and petroleum they are also termed fossil fuels second other non metallic minerals these inorganic minerals include mica limestone and graphite now let us discuss energy resources derived from minerals energy is pivotal for the functioning of modern societies and minerals play an essential role in energy generation coal used primarily for thermal power generation and smelting of iron ore major coal fields in india lie in the damodar valley petroleum and natural gas crucial for transportation and industrial purposes major reserves are found in assam gujarat and off the mumbai coast oceanic minerals the indian ocean is a reservoir of several minerals polymetallic nodules and polymetallic massive sulfides are of primary interest they contain manganese copper iron and even gold now let us see the impact and utilization of minerals minerals play a foundational role in the socio economic development of a country their extraction and utilization drive several industries from construction and energy to technology and transportation for instance metals derived from minerals are used in construction automobiles and gadgets similarly energy minerals like coal and petroleum power are cities and vehicles the proper utilization of minerals coupled with sustainable mining practices can ensure long term economic benefits and environmental well being now it's time for the practice question for prelims the question is consider the following statements regarding the formation and classification of minerals one minerals that contain iron are termed as non ferrous minerals two diamonds are primarily formed from carbon subjected to extreme heat and pressure deep inside the earth choose the correct statements from the following quotes only one only two both one and two or neither one nor two for means the question is minerals often exist in combination with two or more elements explain this phenomena with examples and outline the implications for mining and extraction that's all for today's episode thanks for watching have a great day